confidence booster. Makes you feel like a superhero for a night. Powerful and fast. Really hard work. It's adrenaline. Self-esteem. Discipline. It's liberating. Super empowering. It's challenging. It's exhilarating. You have fun and meet some amazing women. Derby name is Sammy Automatic. Barbicide and Nakahoda. I have a cold heart. Smashing Punchkins. Commanda. I'm Venus Dynamite. Whiskey Myth. Zippy's Takeout. Metal Maiden. Hey Boom. Siren Nora. Cosmonati. It's Pixie X. Helen Wheels. I've been in since it started in Tucson, and it was just, um, I knew a girl that knew the girl that was starting it, and just the minute I heard the words all girl roller derby, I knew I wanted to do it. I've been in it for seven years. Kim Sandia. The lady who started the league, she uh, invited, she's like, hey Barb, do you want to play roller derby? I'm like, hell no, I bartend and cut hair, there's just no way. And then she invited me to a practice and I got hooked. I got interested when they first started back in the early 2000s, maybe around 2003, but at the time I just didn't feel like I had enough time to make the time commitment because it's a lot of work. I went to a game and watched and said, hey, I can do that. I'm a pretty decent skater and I joined. You used to be a teacher and um, it was a really great way to go ahead and unwind your day and not take your frustrations out on your students or on your family. It was going to be roller derby or burlesque <laughs> and roller derby won and I'm pretty happy about that because it turns out I like to hit chicks. So <laughs> if you do that in burlesque it's just not as attractive. So. <laughs> I have had an injury. I am um, actually um, in December um, fell and ended up with an MCL sprain and a bone bruise and was off skates for about eight weeks. One of the first games we played against Texas, we played them and I ended up on the bottom of a Texas dog pile. So I had like six Texans on top of me that were huge and it all uh, uh, popped my arm out and back in. So my arm's still a little twitchy six years later, but that was probably the worst. I had a black eye. I think that's my best injury. I got a really good black eye. But other than that, I've been really lucky. My ankle dislocated the big bone and tore ligaments. So I have a pin going in there. And I think I broke my nose. Um, just ass bruises, knee, yeah. knee bruises. That's about it. Yeah, mostly big knockwood, big old bruises. Right, nothing yeah. else other than that. Ooh. This is a pretty typical spot for a roller. When I had this tattoo done, I had my tattoo artist avoid this spot <laughs> so I could keep it free and clear of her landings. I got hit out of bounds and slid a little too fast on the wood floor and hit the wall and I really jacked up my shoulder and I took out a metal chair at the same time. So that, that, that hurt a lot. I actually um, separated my left shoulder and that was very painful. I also ruptured my left bursa on my knee and that was very, very painful. That took months to heal. So no breaks, touch wood so far. Everyone in Derby has a split personality disorder. I swear to God, you can take my word for it. You can know Sammy Automatic off the track, and she's a sweetheart, but you do not want to mess with her on the track. It's, it's different. Everyone has their derby persona and their real life persona, and sometimes they get mixed up in between, and we all just have a disorder. That's true. Um, I'm a lot more reserved and pretty quiet. Like, I don't like to be too loud or I just kind of like to be in the corner but when I am on the track I for me I'm like constantly you know outgoing and yelling at the girls and trying to help and it's just a totally different personality that just comes out that I don't usually have. <laughs> I go to the penalty box a little more often on the track than I do in ra real life. <laughs> My derby life is incredible. I was I'm a different person now because of the girlfriends I have, because of the support, the self-esteem that I grew from playing. I used to be really super duper shy. I did not talk to anyone. I never saw myself doing anything publicly like this. 
pretty much a pacifist, actually. Like, I'm very much about, like, mediating and, um, you know, finding good solutions to problems. And here on the track, it's just, like, it's so easy to separate, like, my team and their team. And it's, like, it's my job to hit that team. And so, you know, I mean, there's never really another opportunity to have that or do that in real life where you're just, like, yes, I get to hit you, and it's totally legal, <laughs> you know? So Roller Derby basically is a game of scoring points. You want to score more points than the other team. And in order to score points, you have a jammer, and she's the only one on the track who can score points. So they have a pack, which is four people from each team, and they blow the first whistle, and the pack goes. Then they blow two whistles, and then the jammers go. The jammers work their way through the pack. They have to pass every opponent legally, and then they lap the pack. And when you come back around, then every person that you pass, you start to score points. It's the only game that I know of where you play offense and defense at the same time. So your team is trying to help you get through, and you're trying to stop the other jammer at the same time. I love how strategically smart you have to be and plus the aggression. Aggression plus the smart, it's a good time. A couple of things. One is that it involves both skating and a sport, and also there's an artistic side to it, so all those sort of aspects go together. Um, and the other thing I love about it is it's just, it's a physical girl's sport. You get to play hard, you don't have to worry about being too nice. Um, you play hard within the rules, and it's one of the most physical sports that um, I've ever played. The roller derby has definitely made me stronger physically and emotionally and mentally. But you definitely have to be strong mentally and physically and just disciplined, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. I think it definitely gives people, um, a lot of alpha females, um, a chance to skate with other alpha females. I feel like this is absolutely, positively the most female empowering sport out there. I've seen this sport take girls and women of all shapes and sizes, big, small, um, fast, slow, uh, and just give them self-confidence.